What else can I do with a placed image? Well, I'm going to lock that map of Australia and hide it for the moment and bring in another one. If I place, let's say, stay with the Australian theme and I place this flag of Australia, make sure it's linked. And incidentally, we can bring in many, many formats. If I place this and scale it down, there's uh, the Australian flag. One thing you might want to do is go to Window Links. Now Links, I'm just going to dock it for the moment just loosely there. The Links panel shows you images which you've got in your document, in your Illustrator document. It has a few useful options underneath, which would let you relink this file to a different file would let you update it, should the original file have changed, and let you edit the original file in the application that created it. Other options here in the submenu are also useful. And one, placement options, is quite powerful. Now there's a few different things you can use here, and these may be familiar to you if you've used InDesign. You can say to fill or to fit. So if I choose fill, uh, when I resize this box, it doesn't stretch the image. It will simply make things get bigger. And it means the original size of the image is really just a starting point. But when I make my changes, I know I'm not going to stretch it. Now, some of these settings are going to be a little bit confusing because they don't work the same way as in InDesign. Let's try with, let's try fit and go, okay. Now this is looking a little bit more familiar possibly, than in design, uh, to InDesign users rather. And I flick back to placement options. I'm just going to go back to transforms, which is the default. And you'll see that now this is actually completely stretched. What I might do is delete it, place it again, and show you another alternative. So if I bring in my flag of Australia, back to the scale tool, shrink it down one more time. If I want to crop this image in a regular way, I'd probably make a rectangle, draw a cropping box over the area I actually want to keep, then select both of these items and use Object Clipping Mask Make or Command or Control 7. Now that the object has been cropped to that top shape, you can only see the area which was enclosed by that top shape. And in the Layers panel, it's been put into a clip group. You can select the mask or the original object. If you move the original object around, you're moving it underneath the mask, a lot like in InDesign with the Direct Selection tool. But do be careful. When you click with the Main Selection tool on the object, you will move both the clip and the path. If you get the Direct Selection tool, then yes, you can move the object underneath. But if you select the mask, you're more likely to break it like that. So the correct way to move just the mask would be to select the mask using the Layers panel and then use the regular selection tool to move it. What about, what about some of those fancier options here in Links? Well, if I decide I want to change this image for something else, I could relink to another image. Let's say I get my SVG version of the image, which is a vector graphics version rather than the ping, which is not, then I could replace my image and because it's vector art, it's come in with handles and anchor points and exactly everything I really want. That would be a good idea. And in fact, in this case, it's no longer a link. It's simply been incorporated into the file. If I undo that, get my flag of Australia back, I'll relink it to some other file entirely, maybe the uh, map of Australia from earlier. Then it will simply replace one image with another. That's quite a useful thing to be able to do sometimes especially if somebody else has given you the artwork and gives you an updated version of it. Now, let's undo. If the original file has updated, but not changed its name, you can press the Update Link button. In this case, there's been no change, so nothing happened. All of these features work only if the image is linked, and for some features, you will need to embed the image. Now, if you have an image which was linked and you need to embed it, head for the submenu and Embed Image. We will be doing this another time, but for now, just know that it is quite possible to embed an image, at which point the link is broken and this icon appears in the links panel.